hey you guys and welcome back to my channel so we are dark and smoky today we have got a huge announcement that I've mentioned but I've never announced it so first thing we're gonna do is play our intro Okay guys, so um, I have mentioned a few times that I had my first, first brand collab came out. So I haven't put it on the channel yet. There's a lot of things kind of surrounding the collab, but regardless of anything that goes along with it, this is a major milestone for me. Um, I'm so thankful to the company that allowed me to collab with them. It was of course Crate Finds. Y'all know I used to rave about them. If you're a fan of them, you know what's going on. If you're not, just know my collab is still available on the site. You can still get it for now. It is limited edition. Once it's gone, it's gone. But uh, they gave me my first brand collab, my first chance to create a product. And a product with my name on it. Look at this. That's my whole signature right there. Sorry guys, I got excited. Now the camera doesn't want to focus. But that's got my whole signature on it. Like that is the coolest thing I think ever you know that's one of the most exciting things ever and I don't have kids so I can say this is the coolest thing I've ever made you guys ever made because <laughs> as of right now this makeup palette hold on let me just blow your mind a little bit more these makeup palettes are the coolest thing I think I've ever done so what we did with Crate Finds was we made a daydream and a nightmare dual palette collection um, I want to split this up a little bit because I haven't really I thought about doing a challenge where I use every single color in both of the palettes all in one look but I think what I want to do for y'all because they are available as single options as well as together so I'm going to show you the high points of each palette this palette today this palette next week and a combination of both of them and the good things when they work together next week or the week after you know in two weeks so today we are covering the daydream palette so it is a purple design looks like this uh, see if we can get you in focus looks like this it says daydream here my signature is there on the back we've got all of our cruelty free vegan and organic stamps please don't don't judge this palette mine is bruised and beaten I have had it for a few weeks now um, I use it all the time I promise if you get one it'll look better than this but on the inside design we have our XOXO up here it's kind of a galaxy print which I love because galaxy is literally my favorite thing in the whole world and then we've got our four colors we've got angelic la vie and rose which if you don't speak any French, um, la vie in rose is kind of the French version of the phrase living behind rose colored glasses. And when I think of a daydream, that's kind of the phrase I thought of. So we've got la vie on rose and the actual daydream shade in the palette. <clears throat> so this is gonna be like your light gray. This is your champagne shimmer. This is kind of a pink toned uh, matte shadow and this is a diamond pressed shimmer uh, baby blue color right here so to me uh, these colors really just um, I don't know they kind of embodied my whole daydream theme I had going with this palette um, they complement each other super well I used every color in the palette in my look today um, but yeah so got these four colors i'll go ahead and swatch the two shimmers for you we all know mattes don't always swatch the best so we're not going to do that but here is my hand and here are these two colors swatched out um someone teach me because i haven't quite learned how to focus this camera you can see the blue and the champagne right there they swatch really well, they perform really well, and I will show you the champagne has a ton of different uses. I've got it in 
five different spots, I think. So yeah, um, this is the first half of my collab. I'm so excited about it. I believe right now these palettes are on sale for 12 or 13 each or you can get the bundle for like 26. So you get both of them and these are like, check this out. These are really big pan sizes. These are the size of the big Juvia's Place or like Ofra blushes. They're the same size as those. So they're not little pans. These are huge. And especially with this one right here, once I show you, you'll understand why you want a huge pan of that. So this is what we're doing today. I'm going to show you how I got this a look with the palettes. I know it's a little wonky guys. I kind of messed up. Contacts are still acting up. But this is the look we got. I hope you like it. I'm going to show you how to do it. Show you how pigmented these shadows are. And hopefully you decide you want them for yourself because if nothing else, it's got my name on it. Okay. I'm done, sorry guys. This really should have been an ASMR because right now I wanna scream and I need something to contain me to a whisper. But we are gonna quit rambling. We are gonna go ahead and we're gonna give you a tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that clap right in the microphone. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is go in with On Rose right here. Ignore how beaten up my palette is, guys. I use this every day so just ignore that but we're gonna go in with on rose and take it on a fluffy brush pick up quite a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it all over the eye really dark I'm trying a different technique lately with my makeup off camera and I wanted to go ahead and try it on camera with y'all today Okay, so basically what I did here is I did kind of how it looks like Nikki Tutorials does her makeup when she goes in for a halo eye. I just stamped it in and then blended around the edges. So now I'm going to take a smaller brush and take a little bit of Angelic right here. This is a gray and it's a lighter gray and I'm going to really pack that into the outer and inner corners so I can deepen up this color just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of this MAC paint pot on a small flat brush and lay this in the center to clear out where I want my halo to go. All right, now with a small packing brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of Daydream. This is a really pretty baby blue diamond pressed uh, shadow. And I'm gonna take this and pack it on that haloed portion of my eye. Okay, um, and to blend this out, I'm just gonna take that brush that I had um, on Rose on earlier, and I'm just gonna slightly blend around the edges just to take care of all these harsh lines that we've got going on. And I'm gonna take a little extra of that color just so that I can pack it onto the edges and make this look a little bit cleaner. Okay, and for a tiny bit of extra pop, I'm gonna take La Vie. And this is a really beautiful champagne diamond pressed. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just pop it on the very middle just to give me a little extra oomph and a little more spotlight. And just right, right there. And I'm also gonna take this color and go ahead and pop it in this inner corner. Right here.
and a little bit onto the brow bone. Okay, so now what I want to do is smoke out my lower lash line just a little bit and I'm just going to use on rose for this. And I'm going to take it on a flatter brush and just pick it up and pop it right under here. just like so and for one final trick with this palette before I go finish out my liner and lashes we're gonna take La Vie and I just want you to really see how this performs we're gonna take it on my highlighting brush and pick it up and use it as our all-over highlight cuz what what It is gorgeous. I love it for a highlight and I use it all the time. So glad I have backup palettes where I would literally run out of this color so fast. Okay, so the Alec is done. I am going to hop off of here, go get some water and lashes on, and I'll be right back to talk to you guys. Okay, guys, so that is how I got this look. I hope, hope, hope that you like it. Uh, I do have one other announcement <clears throat> if you're looking at my channel, which, uh, you know, you kind of got to be. I am getting close to around 1,500 subscribers. I didn't announce it, but I kind of on the download started a giveaway for my channel. It auto sent out to everyone who entered my last giveaway, if I'm not mistaken. But it is my 5,000 sub, 5,000 follower giveaway. So for this one, it's going to be a second, um, unless y'all really work hard for me. It might not be that long. But what we want to do for this one is um, once I reach 5,000 subscribers here, as well as 5,000 followers on Instagram, which I'm not that far on Instagram as I am on here. I'm at around 3,600 on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, I do have a bigger following on Instagram, but still. Um, once I hit 5,000 on both, we're going to be doing a pretty major giveaway. I know already I will have some Kat Von D, Makeup Geek, a um, little bit of Crate Finds, you know, you know. Might try to squeeze a set of these in there. Um, I mean, I'll have a whole lot of stuff. Like, I'm already gathering things. I may get some of the really good dupes off the Hush app, too, because I know y'all seem to really like those videos and uh so I guess you'd really like those palettes right so it's going to be a pretty major giveaway going to have one maybe two winners depending on how quickly we get this done and how much you know everything grows but yes I'm super excited for that giveaway honestly I started it Today's Saturday. I know it's Monday for y'all but I started it last Monday and in less than a week I've already gained like a lot of subscribers and I have over 1500 entries so get on it enter that giveaway it's super easy it's on gleam the link is down there just like always um, enter the giveaway a few clicks whatever only mandatory things that you must do are subscribe and follow me on Instagram there's several other options for getting additional entries. There's daily entries and there's also the referrals. You can get up to 50 of those. If you share your link and 50 friends enter, you get 50 more entries. So that's always fun. But um, yes, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions about this palette or this one or my collab in general, let me know. I will post the link to buy down in the description along with my giveaway link and also a code to get 10% off because, you know, I got a code, so you might as well use it. But yeah, that is it for this video. I'm so excited. Y'all have no idea how surreal this is for me to finally post this. 
But yeah, that is it for today's video. I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye you guys.